Well, downtown St. Paul is the best place to be this weekend. Going to be busy. Crashed ice, winter mm -hmm. carnival, and the world's toughest rodeo. Rootin' tootin' and <laughs> wrangling us up this morning. Mary McGuire live at the old XL Energy Center. Mary. Good morning, guys. Yes, it will be a very busy weekend here in St. Paul. Organizers think that close to 200,000 people will be in the city alone on Saturday night, and a lot of them will be out here at the world's toughest rodeo. I'm here with the rodeo <laughs> announcer himself, Anthony Lucia. Tell me, what, what can people see if they come out to the world's toughest rodeo? Well, starting tonight from 6 to 7, we're going to have the Family Fun Zone, which is in the arena. We have all sorts of activities, so everybody can come down, get a feel of what it actually feels like to be a part of the World's Toughest Rodeo, meet a lot of our contestants, the clowns, of course, ride the bull midnight, all sorts of stuff, pony rides, but then at 7.30, the action's going to get started. And if you've never been to a rodeo, the World's Toughest Rodeo is, is like nothing you've ever seen before. It's from the start to finish, it is the most exciting event. The bareback riding, the saddle bronc riding, the ladies in the barrel race, as well as, of course, the bull riding. And then, of course, we've got some of the very best entertainment in all the country, and not only do we have great trick riders and great rodeo clowns, but actually World's Toughest Rodeo has brought in for the first time ever to St. Paul the only professional bull jumper in the U.S. Actually, he's actually from France, and his name is Manu Latast, and he is what he's going to do is is run straight at he's going to run straight at Mexican fighting bulls and leap over them, purebred Mexican fighting bulls. This guy is is a extreme sports. He's a cowboy, and it is edge of your seat action. Oh my goodness. And I was a little bit concerned about wearing red. Yeah. But bulls are actually colorblind. They are colorblind. They can see shades. And and Manu knows more about bulls than, than I'll ever know. But I mean he wears all right and these bulls charge straight straight to him. And he leaps over them, flips over them. It has never been seen before at the World's Toughest Rodeo. And so the fans are really in for a treat. And Manu, are you just are you fearless? You're jumping at these huge animals. Yeah, I jump bulls, I jump cows, I jump uh, this, this kind of animal since 17 years in France, in Spain, in Canada, and now in USA. Oh my goodness, we're so excited to see you this weekend. The rodeo is both tonight and tomorrow. Yes. And uh, I can say, it looks like I'm at a rodeo right now, but I can confirm yeah. it also smells like I'm at a rodeo right now. <laughs> Nothing to wake you up on a Friday morning like a little you. cow's horse. Oh, you thought it was just I me? I thought it was you. I thought it was your aroma. <laughs> I guess I'm so used to this spot. Thank, so Thank, oh, so yeah. oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Maybe I think he meant that it smelled so good to him this morning because you were there. I'm sure that's why. Right, right. Did, I have a great aroma. This uh, Anthony character there. It's I my think, musk. Yeah. I think he's saying his last name wrong though, don't you, Mary? I mean, it's spelled L-U-C-I-A. I've been, I've been, I have been, I have been schooled in his last name. It is Lucia. It is yeah. not Lucia. No Some relation. Say Lucia. Yeah. But we say in the rodeo you world, should, we say Lucia. Well, if you're in Minnesota, Lucia is a pretty. I'm Lucia. Then. You want to be a Lucia yeah. for sure. Well, that's what I am then. Anthony Marco Lucia. I <laughs> want to be a Lucia in Minnesota. <laughs> I love Very that. Good. Very good. Smart man. All right. Thanks, Mary. <laughs>